Oh, like me. Um, so in terms of how will, we ha how will we have experts to install solar roofs around the US, um, we're, that, that's actually where uh, a huge amount of the value of the solar city acquisition comes in because they've installed uh, solar on roofs uh, almost throughout the country. And there are thousands of different roof, ty roof types and every uh, jurisdiction is different, every county, every city. Um, it's, it's a really thorny, complicated, unsexy problem, uh, but, it, but the, the, the Seoul City Installation team has, has, has solved that. And so uh, we're, we're going to be training the Seoul City Installation, installation team to do the solar roofs, the solar um, glass tiles. And the prices will come down uh, as we're able to, to achieve economies of scale and optimize the installation process. I think it's very important that we be able to kit the entire roof before and then put that in a van and 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 um, install on on site very quickly, so that the amount of work that's required on site is is minimal. Um, it should just be like like Lego, like just you have it. It's kitted exactly, um, and you go and you and you do like a crazy uh, efficient uh, roofing installation. Um, so, but economies of scale and making that installation process efficient are key to having the prices come down. Okay. Um, I, I, are mo okay, so mo most millennials living in apartments rather than homes, uh, what do we, can we do to make it easier to own and charge a Tesla without a garage? Um, so we're establishing uh, uh, supercharging locations, a lot more in-city supercharging locations. Um, and there'll be a little lower power, um, but in between uh, a, a high power supercharger, which is optimized for long distance trips, but more power than would typically be found um, in a home garage. Um, so wherever the car is being parked, um, uh, if it's a, um, at the apartment or at work or somewhere in between, um, uh, we're, we're going to make sure that there's, there's a place to, to charge your car, even if you live in, a, in an apartment. Um, one of the key things for apartments is to manage the power. So if you've got a lot of cars parked in a garage, and you have to design the system to handle a hypothetical case where all cars are drawing maximum power at the same time, then you need a crazy amount of power. So uh, it's important to have a system that uh, load levels the power um, so that they don't have to build a new substation just to supply the apartment building. Um, and uh, so that's, that's one of the things that's the um, process of being implemented. Um, but no question, we need to solve this problem for apartments, not just uh, homes. <laughs> From Jimmy Hoffa. Hmm. Um, <laughs> it, it, is there an electric plane in Tesla's future? Well, we got a lot of fish to fry. Um, there are no, no plans right now to have an electric plane. Um, we have a long way to go to handle terrestrial transport. And uh, it's, not, it's not inconceivable that we do an electric plane, uh, but I do think that we're not quite there in terms of the energy density of batteries for an electric plane. I think the kind of minimum that you'd want is about 400 watt hours per kilogram, and even that would require some pretty substantial innovation in the airframe and the way that you build an airplane in order to have decent range with a, at 400 watt hours per kilogram. Um, at 500, it starts to become quite compelling, but I don't know. I think we're maybe four, maybe four or five years away from having uh, 500 watt hours per kilogram, something like that. Maybe half a decade, yeah, in in, in volume production. Uh, of course. Um, now I'm not saying we're going to add a nuclear fusion <laughs> reactor. I'm just saying it fits. So. All right, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, it's great to see you and look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.